Hi everyone, welcome to Long Shorts, where we share interesting facts about China, past and present. My name is Min, and I'm a postdoc here at UCI's Long Institute. Did you know that when a person from China interacts with you in English, it's oftentimes their third language? Consider the phrase to eat in Putonghua or standardized Mandarin is 吃饭 In Wuhan, where I grew up, is 吃饭 And just 100 kilometers away from the city, my grandparents would say. Chua Fan, because they speak Taiwanese, a type of Jiangxi Hua. These different Fan Yans are but a few of the hundreds of other ones used throughout China. Fan Yan was translated into English as dialects by both 19th century Europeans as well as the 20th century Chinese central government. But as historian Jinan and Tan points out, this translation is inherently problematic. Most Fan Yans are neither derived from Mandarin nor are they mutually intelligible from one another. Check out our book, Dialect and Nationalism in China, 1860 to 1960, to learn more about the complicated relationship between Fangyan and politics in China.